generally you see fundamentalism develop in, in two areas. It's, it's motivated by reverential motivations or political motivations, and they in turn go back to the one focal point, and that is um, something that people define themselves by. People become very passionate about their choices, and to a certain extent, they, um, they identify themselves um, by their choices. And you'll get a lot of people that still love that deliciously obsolete format, the LP. And they, you know, take great pleasure out of dragging a diamond needle through a plastic groove, and somehow it creates this wonderful experience. It's so technically imperfect that it's almost ludicrous, and yet it can be a thing of immense satisfaction and musical insight. Uh, and further down the, the chain, we have people that um, love solid state, uh, direct coupled designs, and other people at the other extreme that, that love transformer coupled single-ended triodes. And if it's more than about two watts, it's probably wasted power. <laughs> And, and it makes for fun discussions, especially among people who can accept the reality that their interpretation really isn't the absolute truth with a capital T. It's their taste, and there's room enough in this world for all these wonderful different ideas and tastes. But when you start uh, building this wall around yourself and... Uh, and uh, getting uh, a, a defensive mentality about it uh, and that you're threatened by other designs now getting into the world of loudspeakers, then, then I think it, it, it becomes counterproductive to, to a music lover's enjoyment of their music uh, or to a manufacturer's um, ability to uh, coexist with dealers and, and colleagues uh, within the field. People find that they can get a stronger response if they state something in absolute terms and confrontational terms. And it's, it's very divisive, and, and, uh, and it's unfortunate. I, I've, I've seen it also in clubs where you'll, you'll get some people who want to uh, be identified as being the expert on some type of tube or the expert on a certain cartridge stylus profile. And I know that almost sounds silly, but it's not, it's not exactly far from, far from the truth. Uh, in the world of loudspeakers, you very often see it in, in terms of uh, uh, you know, first order crossovers as being the only way. And there are usually uh, uh, you know, technical reasons given for it, many of which are valid. Um, but what is underplayed are the shortcomings of that, which are also valid. Uh, I'm reminded of a, of a question um, that a banker asked me once. He said, um, what's it like uh, to you? Uh, do you? Do you enjoy selling technology? And um, I could tell immediately that this guy was not an audiophile. He didn't get what we do at all. He was looking, lumping us into the same category as a lot of other technology companies out there. Um, I don't sell technology. Um, we use technology as a tool. I said what we sell is quality of experience. Uh, and... So I'm, uh, because I'm not beholden to any one technology, uh, if I see the merits of a different technology as being strong enough, I'll certainly uh, you know, uh, accept that and utilize it to the best uh, of my, my capabilities. I think that fundamentalism is probably always going to uh, exist in any field where people get passionate in any field where people um, create some of their own identity with it because they're defending themselves and they're defending their positions.